meeting will come to order. The meeting is being televised and recorded. Is anyone in the audience recording? <clears throat> Any A and R's, Adam? No. Seven o'clock here in couple of times. How would you like to proceed? Good evening, Mr. Henry, why don't you take yep. over? Okay, I'll do that. Um, uh, for the record, my name is Phil Henry, uh, but the civil design group, we are the civil engineers of the project. Uh, if you recall, we, we were in front of, of the board about um, a month ago, maybe a little over a month ago, and um, much, of the, much of the discussion centered around the, the access drive on South Street. And if you recall, at that time, we had already been to uh, the first Zoning Board of Appeals hearing, where at, at that meeting, uh, there was discussion on whether to leave the curb cut as it was originally proposed, move it 20 feet back or, or move it 40 feet back. And <clears throat> couple that with, uh, there was some um, feedback from the board members with regards to um, site features that I'm gonna walk you through tonight. So basically what I'd like to discuss tonight is, is basically walk, walk, walk the board through uh, what the result was of, of the Zoning Board of Appeals meeting, which um, shouldn't take that long. Do you, do you have, um, do you have that? Uh, oh, you want a laser pointer? There you go. I thought, I thought I had that little thing. There, there. is a little stick. The laser pointer is easier. Uh, that was yeah. No, it's not a laser pointer. Yes, it is. Oh, yours is. One is, <laughs> one is <laughs> That's a that's a mouse. I thought I had this. Did I have this last time? That's a mouse. If you put it on the screen. Okay. Well, in any event, I just want to zoom in here. If I could. Focus the attention uh, on, on this access drive here. If you recall, our original plan was to to bring the access drive sh sh uh, straight out in line with our internal access drive and also in line with our um, restaurant across the street. It's not in line. It, it's not in line any, oh. any, any anymore. The after discussion with uh, with the ZBA, they they were they were. Um, requested that we move it back 20 feet. We obliged, and, and what is currently shown here is the access drive 20 feet further back uh, than what was originally proposed. So Now the opening looks like it's pretty much in line with the front coming straight across the front of your building, well, if, but into the parking spaces. Yeah. <coughs> Is anyone to zoom into that? Yeah. <coughs> so they can move it 20 feet back this yeah, way. should line, line up. Yeah. Show book, yeah. Yeah. Brooke. Okay. You want more? Yeah, no, it's perfect. That's so Frank and Nancy's car. Our they're not lined up. Yeah, our our access drive lined up essentially this going back. Through, through this internal access drive here, which which lined up with France and it, Frank and just. This stupid thing is more trouble than it's worth sometimes. The, as I was saying, the the internal access drive uh, lined up with our with our once proposed access drive that was essentially right here, lining up with the curb cuts on Frank and Nancy's across the street. Now, as as it's proposed here, the access drive is shown here at a 30 foot curb cut. Um, at it, so would be vehicles coming into South Street from from the south, we need to make this left hand turn and then make this left-hand turn to avoid this landscaped island here, okay? So we, it, was a, it was a compromise that we saw as, as not as a deal killer, but um, it's obviously um, not ideal for us, but we made a decision that we can live with that, uh, certainly. So to move it where it is right now, is which right is now. 20 back feet 20 back, feet back from, from its original location. Yes, which is roughly in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the same place where it is today. More or less. <clears throat> so, essentially, that was the that was the only change that 
that we that we modified per our, per our last uh, uh, planning board hearing about five weeks ago. Uh, additionally, I'd also like to note that we've incorporated some of the requests that that um, the planning board made the last time we were um, in front of you guys, and, and I'd like to walk you through those. The we've extended. <coughs> Adam, Jimmy, we could um, pan, zoom out. Pan down. I just want to show them this the fence line. If you recall, our our stockade or our cedar fence. Uh, ended you know, roughly here last time. We're now extending that fence all the way around uh, along the front of South Street to provide some extra um, hindrances from, from, from the um, from the neighbors going exactly. north on South Street. We've Indeed. also we've also um, modified the public's crosswalks to conform to to town code. Um, I spoke with the DPW director and I believe his his assistant and uh, we're now proposing six foot wide blue crosswalks with the bordered white stripe as you know similar as you see around town. Um, at the request of I believe a neighbor we've added um, another accessible um, handicap yeah, another accessible, uh, accessible space and then so where is the other one or is it one on each side okay there's one on each right. side you can share the uh yeah. um and then lastly um if we could just pan down adam please the a request was made to 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 extend that crosswalk all the way to the to the pump island so which we've done so th those were from from my notes the the um the modifications that we needed to to incorporate prior to this hearing today. Phil, can you explain the uh, do not block driveway? Yep. Additionally, um, at at the at the ZBA <coughs> hearing, we've also, at the request of the board, has have incorporated a, a do not block box, which is going to be essentially a, a 12 foot wide st striped box, um, as, as shown here, with a with a sign upstream of it as, as you're traveling southbound uh, and it's going to say do not block driveway um, sign so it, it, we're also so along with the with the crosswalk the modified access drive we're going to have a do not block box plus a sign traveling southbound mm -hmm. from the north so, so you're saying you don't want people queuing in that block exactly. area yeah so so yeah. the the idea is so that two two i, I believe two or three cars can oh. fit now three cars yeah th three cars can fit now on with that design right there yeah so from the light which is here th three cars can queue so that fourth car the idea is for him to stay up here and, and not block that to 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 allow for essentially the cars coming up up south street and, and, and <coughs> that's going to help the business next door too so I think that's a good idea should have been done a long time ago and the curb cuts in front of Frank and Nancy's are in horrific condition so they'll this is that's Frank and Nancy's curb cut and your curb cut you can see is about 15 to 20 feet closer to the corner so that when you move it 20 feet back then they will line up with Frank and Nancy's. Well, that's in the current situation that's though. Right. You guys are modifying that even in your original scenario so that would be pushed back if I'm not mistaken mm -hmm. right so it would yeah. line up yeah, once originally. Move it, back it looks like from not once they move back 20 feet I don't think I think it originally the way it was proposed, it would line up directly. Now it's going to be pushed back even further. Yeah, it's gonna, yeah, it's that's the way it currently that's is. Where they're it is, moving. Right. The they don't line up back. right now. Right, mm -hmm. but they're changing that. They're moving the convenience store back. That's right. And they're that's, going to line up then. That's what. We're Regardless of the 20 foot, the decision front by the ZBA to move the entrance way <coughs> 20 foot back. And the no, I understand what you're pointing at right here. If they move this back 20 feet. Then they'll line what up. What I'm telling you though is that in their original plan, they were moving it back 20 feet. No, they weren't. They were keeping it where it existed. We we were we were maintaining it su substantially <coughs> where it was. We were moving it back just ever so slightly, but okay. now we're moving it back to 20, 20 feet. So, more or less, it, it it doesn't exactly line up with Frank and Nancy's, but essentially the the existing curb as it lies today. Show the curb cut in Frank and Nancy's. The, I so 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 here's here's Frank and Nancy's curb cut right here. Do you goes you from see the, that opening? Goes from the H and South to the E and Street. Yep. 
So the, the existing curb cut, and I have the survey plan, I'm sure, here electronically, but the, the inbound driveway, if you will, lines up with Frank and Nancy's, and, and the outbound lane sort of, sort of lies closer to Frank and Nancy's. When you had it down more southerly, though, you said, I thought that's because you wanted it to line up between the pump island and the back of the parking spaces. Ex ex so the cars would flow right in. Exactly. On our original plan, it, it basically lined up exactly across. Now, now we're, we moved it back 20 feet, but because that now, now this edge or the outbound lane is, is, is opposite the, their outbound lane really on Frank and Nancy's. So it's not going to line up, wasn't going to line up before exactly, and it's not going to line up now exactly. It's, it's still going to be a little bit of a mismatch. But it's still going to allow three it's, cars of queuing before yeah, that yes. lock and, walks. And if people yeah. obey the do not block yeah. driveway, <coughs> and they, may, they maybe will after a period of time, mm -hmm. well, then that'll really alleviate any situation. That's going to help both, that's going to help both places yeah. because now people going out of the restaurant can get, get some queuing too. Uh, that uh, crosswalk that comes from the convenience store to the pumps, mm -hmm. is there any way that you can put some additional lighting on that for at night? Or what other kind of lighting are you going to have? Are you going to have a canopy over those pumps, I would assume? Yes. Mm -hmm. and is there going to be lights fact, hanging off the, of them already? Yes, we have um, directional lighting that shines from the canopy itself toward the building to light that area. That area. Yeah. Because there's going to be a lot of traffic going back and forth. And, and correct people. me if I'm wrong, this triangle is the operator site triangle correct. so that they can see all cars and all pumps. Mm -hmm. So it stands to reason that everything in here is going to be lit up enough for this person to be able to see everything that's going on here so they can activate the emergency switches. <coughs> At least that's my experience with gas stations. Yeah, Don't if I'm incorrect. Um, Phil, and I'm going to infer that you did this, but just for the record, you did talk to the DPW about the box and the design of the paint on uh, the lane. I spoke to the DPW prior to our ZBA hearing okay. pertaining to uh, the crosswalk. Okay, so you haven't talked to them about the box? No. Okay, because I know that we had a, a <coughs> offline discussion afterwards yeah. about it being a standard solid line and whether it would need to be gored or there had to be you know a crossing of some sort to yeah. identify it as not a stop line and mm -hmm. it didn't reflect that so i wasn't sure if you would talk to them yet no but that's but that's on our list to do so okay that, sure. and that's fine i mean that's an easy condition yeah. to add if if they choose to go forward Well, I don't see nothing wrong with the plan. No. John, you all set? There was another option, too, that they were going to move it back 40 feet. Yeah. The no, I understand. Two different, that was too I just want, you know, yeah. I No, I understand. I think, and I just, I want to, um, I think you guys did a wonderful job of accommodating all of the concerns that all of the different regulatory agencies have had. I think adding the extra fence is, is phenomenal. I think all the other striping and all the other things you've added are fine. Um, I, I think this is an example of kind of regulation getting in the way of the best function of a property. And I'm, I'm concerned about that. But at the same time, um, you know, I don't think the, you know, our, our issues are something that I, I certainly want to meddle with. So if, if you guys are comfortable with the way this is done, then I'm comfortable with the way this is done. So what do they need now? Okay. You want to close your hearing? Yeah. yeah do you want to actually? Do you want to find out if there's any <coughs> public uh, comment? Yeah. Um, uh, ask if there's any public comment out there, Ronzo. Yeah. Okay. Is there any public comment? Okay. If not, we do we have a motion to close the hearing? I'll make a motion hearing? to close the hearing. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Do we have a motion to approve with conditions? I'll make a motion to approve with conditions. I'd second it. Well, let's run through the conditions. Uh, construction hours yep. are going to be 8, eight to, to 4. 8 to 4.30. 8 to 4.30. Generally, because there's, especially with the residents right residents in the back, right in the uh, Monday to Friday, 8.30 to noon on Saturdays. No Sundays or holidays. 
Um, all of the boards. Yeah, all of the board. You'll abide by all of the boards and commission's decisions. Um, you will uh, verify the box with the DPW. Will be a little bit more verbose in the decision, but in the crosswalk. Yeah. But they've already done the crosswalk. Oh, he's done it already. Uh, the plan, uh, the construction will be done to the plan, and when you give me a final plan, that will be the date that goes in the decision. Mm -hmm. uh, and unless the board has any other conditions, I don't think that there's anything. The lighting, you will have that lighting. Yeah. Well, the lighting's already on uh, on the plan in, in the in the final set, so. Mm -hmm. That's well, if you there. didn't, if you hadn't said that there was sufficient lighting or what you think is sufficient for the crosswalk, I would have liked some addition. A lot of people are asking how long it's going to be closed because they all use it. Uh, An hour and a half. Not a minute longer than it needs to be, right? <laughs> Not a minute longer than it needs to be. Yes. Um, as far as for, for the construction time, um, roughly uh, two to three months, if not a little bit more. Oh, you know what? I, I think the board should add the condition that prior to construction that they obtain their um, fuel storage permits. And I know that Phil and I had a conversation about that. It's something they're going to have to do, and that way you at least cover yourself so we don't end up with an open site. I, I don't think that's in their interest either, so uh, it's just a... So those are the four conditions. Okay, we had a motion to approve with conditions. The conditions have been written. Seconded. 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 All those in favor? Aye. 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 It is a vote. Good luck. Thank you. Thank yeah. you very much. You can just say this to the conditions. Yeah, what I'll do is I'll um, I write the decision. I can't write it until I get your final plan. Okay. Do you want everything to do? I mean, you want one full set of things paper? Because I'll put it in my file and I'll okay. stamp it as the right, So I'm going to send you one more. Yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. and just, just the one. And the date on that is what will go in the decision. Okay. And if I have it in the next two weeks, yeah. I'll write the decision for them to sign at the next meeting and then you'll get a copy. Okay. Right. Yeah, I'll make a revision. I'll, I'll put a revision date tonight. So. Okay. And I, mean, I can. Uh, I can send you a, a draft too if you want it ahead of time just yeah, to be sure. Yeah, I would send it to um, the attorney. Okay, sure. You can see the All right. Thank you. The only way that that box is Yeah. Yeah, that's all you need. That picture is good. The problem with the picture is it's not to scale and it has perspective. So it's very difficult to judge. How, how big something actually is. I and see a pothole there I recognize yeah, from three years ago. I, I <laughs> yes, but th but that's irrelevant because you're looking at perspective. It's if, if I stand here and John stands there and you go stand next to John or beyond John, I'm going to look much smaller than him because he's closer to you. So it's hard to judge something in perspective. I know what he meant. There, there's no scale to it. I taught architects will draw it. I, what's the... Uh, I think I understand. What's the next... Uh, What's up next on the agenda? Okay, <clears throat> we have a discussion on 386 Southbridge Street, site plan review, Wes Dunn, LLC, Dunkin' Donuts with waivers. Hi, good evening. Hi, how are you? I'm Pete Blaisdell. Um, Chris Brown just couldn't be here tonight, so I'm going to fill in for him. And in fact, it's uh, Rosanna Francis, so she's with, um, she's with the applicant. I'm just going to pass you out. I assume it's Adam, correct? Yes, it is. I, I think Chris sent you a, a PDF of today. You guys are right on the, right on the That is fantastic. Yeah. Nice. Our cable committee is good to us. That's great. Yeah. That'll go right you guys don't, don't even need me. So. <laughs> yeah, this is a nice one. Did you get one right? So, um, just, Chris, just sort of... Uh, Discussing with you today, uh, a few of the things that were uh, discussed the last time we were here. So, um, what I thought I would do is just uh, summarize the changes that were made. I guess based on your discussion, is that okay, everybody? Yeah. <coughs> okay. Um, so, th these are in no particular order. So, I'll just kind of go along with what we talked about. Um, a laser pointer. 
because if you touch that, it's going to move. I, and I wasn't even going to touch it. This is, it's a touch screen, too? This one is. Oh, I feel like I'm Star Wars here. This is really cool. Okay, so the first thing uh, was we added some striping across the, um, the entrance here. Um, this brick rock uh, that was put here before is going to be removed. Uh, there's some concerns about some safety, about some folks actually walking here and getting too close to this uh, pickup window. So a fence is going to be put here from the, the building out to the sidewalk just to force people not to come in too close to the building and to stay out. Uh, the existing curbing that is here, we're proposing to push it out a little bit, uh, essentially narrowing the entrance from about 43 feet to about 28 feet. I understand that was discussed. Um, this is going to be changed from a, a, a one-way, I'm sorry, from in and out to just an out. So it'll just be a, uh, an exit right, only. Because I looked at it this morning and it was like somebody was pa somebody was in the line, somebody yeah. was passing to go to go by them to go out, come out, and there was a guy trying to come in. So it was so a little confusion there. Coming up Southbridge Street, yeah, trying to turn in like that. It was a. It wasn't working. That wasn't okay. good. Okay. Well, this 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 hopefully will take care of it then. Yeah, that that'll make a difference. Okay. And Chris was uh, proposing to put we're going to put a couple of uh, do not enter signs here, so okay. that'll keep people come down, take a right on Howe Street. Yeah. Um, we're going to restripe the parking area. So uh, these light lighter lines that you see below are the old existing parking. These other lines here will be the new areas. Um, we're going to add new curving along um, House Street. So you see this old curving here will be now be replaced with new curving. Uh, this is the old curb line here. We'll actually be picking up from here and bringing it around. So it'll be a little more green space in here. And the, this area here will be paved and will be ripped up in more green space there. Also, uh, we're going to add some traffic arrows just to help the circulation through the, through the site a little yeah, bit. You, little you, on, even on Howe Street, you've got three ins and outs. Yeah, 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 exactly. Three ins. <coughs> yeah. Where's, yeah. uh, where's the station you order from? Where's the station? I, uh, right, uh, there's an order board here, sir. Oh, okay. And I believe this is the... Um, first window? Yeah. yeah, that's the first window where I believe you, you pay. And then, um, you know, if you need, if like I said, if you have something that's gonna take a few minutes longer, what they're doing is they're just, uh, Again, jump in if I'm saying it correctly. You can you can pull forward to, to this window and pick up. All right. And then like again, like this person doesn't have to wait for this person to go. They can go. They can go around. All right. Um, and again, this is this is all my knowledge of the uh, Dunkin' Donuts industry from the owner. <laughs> um, and, and that's that's essentially it. Uh, those those are the changes that um, I believe were discussed the last time that we incorporated into this plan. Uh, Chris has contacted uh, someone at Mass DOT. Um, and, and basically, as I'm, I'm sure you all know, this is the, uh, a mass uh, state highway layout here. And uh, anytime we do anything on their property, generally need to get uh, either a, a permit from them or we need to get um, at least some type of feedback. So we sent them a, a letter just asking, you know, what they would think about it in our discussions here with this board. And, you know, well, the dark black lines that come across the entrance, you have to get the permission for that. What do you? What is that going to be? That's just going to be a, a crosswalk, yellow, a, a delineated yellow, painted sure. crosswalk with the with the with the, uh, the yellow. Adam, does that have to conform to that blue? No, and white. That that's DOT. We we don't really get a say in that. Um, had you spoken to the town DPW about Howe Street? No, because that, that I know curb of. work is outside of your property. Right. In general, we're happy to have people fix our roads for us. <laughs> so I don't think they're going to say no, okay. but they may have standards that they're going to want you to sure. meet. You'll probably need a road opening permit, <coughs> all of that kind of fun stuff. Okay, um, we'll, we'll certainly keep them in the loop. I don't think, like I said, it's free work on our roads that's going to make everything a little bit look a little bit nicer. So I, I don't think it's a problem. I just think it's, it's worth if you start about. doing the work, one of them is going to drive by and that's more problem than, than picking up the phone and giving nope. them a call. Good, good to know. Uh, who's the gentleman we would speak to over there? Uh, you want to speak to a lady. So. Uh, well, I'll say either Kenny Fairbanks or Joanna Paquin. And there's a couple of other very little things yeah. that I didn't see. I didn't see the do not enter signs on the plan. Let's see. I saw lots of notes. You know what? And he, I saw the mention of them in his email to me, but I didn't actually see them on the plan. He might, the one, uh, he was doing a couple of little last minute This is the one that um, I signed this okay. afternoon. So he might have sent you one that was a little, little before, but on this, on the oh, plan that I gave yeah. you here tonight, okay. paper copies. That's fine. Uh, there's two called out. And I did, um, 
run this across the building inspector's desk, just as a matter of course. And his only request was that you actually put the uh, ADA space signs in, not just the the striping. He want oh he wants the handicap uh, correct. Okay, just yeah, that's no problem. I mean, it, just as a matter of making it easier, so sure. that somebody can't say, oh well, there was ice on the ground. I didn't know it was. Yeah, and it. That's no problem. So we'll we'll add we'll add ADA on yeah, the handicap parking signs. I, you know, I don't think it holds anything up. It can easily be conditioned, and you know, there's no real. Yeah, no, that's please. Yeah, just throw that in your decision, and we'll we'll, we'll add them in on a revised plan. Yeah. And, and we're like you said, we're probably going to uh, uh, at your at your request, we'll give the DPW a call and see what they. Think yeah, about and that. I don't think that that's a problem to put in a condition either. Okay. Does that about cover it? Does anybody else have any other? Do any hey. other board members have anything? Any public comment? Oh, we're all set. Close the hearing. Well, it's not it's a not hearing, it's a discussion, dis so. Discussion. All right. Someone, does someone wish to make a motion to waive the public hearing? I'd make a motion to waive the public hearing. I'll second it. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Where and then. No, where were the waivers? I didn't have my paper with me. I think we're essentially asking for everything. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was pretty much, it was a waiver yeah. of the public hearing, it was a waiver of all the planned and requirements. And everything else. Yeah, everything yeah essentially. Well, that, just, you don't need yeah. a vote from me, just to... No. Okay. Because I missed the last discussion, just to... Uh, it, three is all it takes yeah. for, for site plan. Okay. So, you want to vote motion. to accept their packet motion. of waivers? You gave a motion, Paul? Yes. To waive the public yeah. hearing and all I the other waivers. Seconded. Yeah. Yeah. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. It is a vote. Good and luck. Thank and then, you. Uh, would, do you want to approve the modification? Because they are modifying their site plan, so you need to approve that as well. Uh, you yeah. waive the public hearing, you waive the plan requirements, I'll now make a you motion. approve the plan. Oh. Go ahead, you. Nope. No, he can't. No. I'll make a motion to uh, approve the uh, modifications, modifications. To the existing with conditions. Site plan. With the conditions. The conditions, conditions you want to put down there. I'd second that. All those in favor? Aye. 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 It is a vote. Thank you very much, everybody. Okay. Good luck. Thank you. And make sure you stop by and buy some coffee. Adding the ADA signs. Big problem. Three bases. And contact them with people who are currently working on the street. And you're not going to be doing a lot of construction. Have a nice evening. You too. Pat, take care. Appreciate it. No, they're not. They're gonna be. They're gonna be I painting. Think we have to. And I don't think you know. You know they did one good thing about that whole plan. They they made this a, a, an out no in. Out no in. That yeah. that work. was the best thing that they could do for that whole uh, site plan. Agreed. Nightmare. I've seen cars almost hit each other head on right there. Coming up and in. Yeah, this way and in. Yeah, now nope, you got a double lane with the window. That's, That's right. Exactly. Yeah. Is there a right turn only coming out of there? No. You can no. go either way. Yep. Frog could go either way. way. Mm -hmm. Now it's going to be no. Uh, no, now it can be either <coughs> way. That, that Cumberland Farms, that, that's a great looking, that's a great looking building. That, that new building they're putting up there. I just wish the site would function the way that they had originally designed it. Me with too. The, with the like, opening down a little. Correct. Yeah, I was going to be all right with that, but then they, they changed it. Well, under duress, but that's. And what Not necessarily relevant. relevant. <coughs> did you see the color picture of the building? What's that? Yeah, I saw that. You did? Yeah, no, I, I love. I think you know those guys certainly did everything they could. Um, my question is, in that type of situation where we think that the the end final plan that is being submitted is being you know outside of their own control, being directed by other regulatory agencies to be made less uh, functional which is something that at the end of the day we're all going to be held responsible mm -hmm. for. Um, what type of recourse do we have in that type of scenario? Well, they, they changed <coughs> it on their own because of the Board of Appeals. No, I, I certainly wouldn't be influenced by what the Board of Appeals did. We're right. an independent well, myself. We, we could always accept less pay. <laughs> yeah, yeah the, the benefits are good too. 
Yeah. Have that's complaining a lot. I, I honestly don't know that there's a lot of recourse other than I'm not sure you're talking sending about. correspondence to the zoning board expressing, you know, <coughs> dissatisfaction with it because they held up their own their permit based mm -hmm. on that fact and you have no ability to force their hand to issue that permit i mean you could game the system you could have approved them the last time they were here with the plan the way that it was and sort of you know done an end around end around to the zoning board uh no i understand i just i didn't want to play games with the no no and i and i understand that i um, and i <clears throat> I did go to their hearing at the zoning board. I expressed my concern and dissatisfaction with the moving of it and how it impacted the site. They seemed unconcerned with the function of the site and more concerned with only the function of South Street. Uh, and the reality is I still to this day fail to see the benefit of one additional stack before it backs to the driveway, uh, especially if then they're going to, you know, they suggested the do not block the box, mm -hmm. which is great. I think that's a fantastic thing to do, even if you paint it yellow and say, you know, please don't block the box. They, a lot of big cities do that at all their major intersections. They have the box, they've got the crosswalks that go diagonally across it, and it's successful. I, I'm, I guess, still a little, and uh, the argument that seemed to be most prevalent was people turn right onto South Street to try and turn left into Cumberland Farms, and because the entrance is so close, they back up Route 20. And, uh, you know. Which, if you had the line striping in that location. Would potentially I help as long as people were obeying it. Okay. Yeah, the, there's, no, there's no enforcement. No one's going to sit there and force on them, and no, I understand. It probably no. won't. Probably not everybody will yeah. obey it. I, I just I think it's an example of how the the you know the reviews mm -hmm. made a site less functional and less safe, and I think that at some point reflects <coughs> on us as well. I, so. I guess the the other recourse would be on projects of this magnitude that require permits from both boards uh, to potentially have joint hearings. I was that was basically going to be one of my questions. Is and that that's that's doable to a degree. I mean, there's nothing that says you can't do it. As long as you post a public meeting and you schedule the hearing appropriately, you could have joint hearings. Um, the issue comes in scheduling that. They meet the third Thursday, you guys meet the second and fourth Tuesday. It's a matter of, of finding a time that works for both boards, whether it's you and then if it's you going to their meeting or you coming, them coming to your meeting, you run into the issue of, well, that's your turf, this is our turf. Can we have a, well, yeah. and, and, but regardless of if it individual members feel that fast. way. It, well, and it, yeah, it can turn into, it, it can turn into, you know, a chest thumping contest. Yep. Uh, and maybe it doesn't. I, I think that that, that having joint hearings would be hugely beneficial because you both deal with some of the same issues and then you each both each deal with individual issues that if you were collaboratively working on it might have some benefit uh and again like i said it's a matter of finding a time and space that that will hold everybody in in an appropriate manner okay new business adam uh, just a reminder, you have draft rules and regulations. When are, when are we One month from tonight, you will be having a public hearing. So please be prepared. If you have questions, please let me know. I'm happy to sit down with you and go through them. Uh, I'm happy to answer any questions. Uh, but the meeting notice is going up on Thursday. So that's going to be be prepared. What's up, you guys? The subdivision rules and regulations. regulations. We have to have a public hearing for the board to accept them. So I'm scheduling it, and hopefully you are all prepared. In one of our so, meetings between now and then, can you just give a 
overview of the substantive changes? It's yes. Well, the problem is animal. I mean, the, the, the answer to that is yes. Everything has changed. <laughs> One problem well, if I have. somebody wants to know about that, Adam, all i got to do is open up the book and look at it. But that's not, no. That, I think that's, that's probably an oversimplification because the previous rules and regs were about 26 pages long. These are <coughs> outside of forms 66 pages. Right. Uh, there is no part of the old regs in the new regs. Mm -hmm. I basically There's started. No way to compare. You'd have to be looking at the old one and try mm -hmm. to pick up what you could off the new one and to see what the difference is. Correct. And that's well, what is expected from us regarding that. You have. <coughs> you have to vote to accept these as the planning board rules and regulations for the subdivision of land. Which would throw away all the other ones. Correct. And you have to hope that what we're reading is, we have nothing to compare it to because you don't have the other one right next to you. Of course, I, think, you, I mean, I can get, you should have the old rules well, and regs. you have the old rules, but I thought you <coughs> said that So you changed wasn't. every one of them. The verbiage in this is completely different. It has all of the same points and covers all of the same plans. My feeling was that reading through the 2003 revisions, there was substantial structural <coughs> and content issues that in order for me to go through and try and reorder and redline that version would have been two to three times the amount of work. So what I did was I started over and started going through and pulling out the information and putting together the information that I feel is most appropriate and... Sounds like you added much more... I added a fair amount of design and construction requirements To go on the from back 30 end. pages to 64 pages? And the majority of it is in design and construction. A lot of it is pulled directly from the mess. DOT <clears throat> manual. What if we don't approve that? Then you continue with the one that you have. The one that you have leaves a lot of gray area, doesn't give anybody an appreciable or uh, easily understandable set of construction standards or rules to go by. It allows for arbitrary and capricious decisions and doesn't necessarily, and as you've seen, it allows for issues with the covenant. This covers a lot of those issues and closes a lot of those holes. Eliminates them. Or the probability of the gray area. Correct. It, it, a lot of that. it puts a lot more structure but into what it. But what we're reading, and it's no offense, it, what we're reading is basically whatever you wanted to write. So if we skipped over yeah. some of it and didn't look at it, we'd be at, at hoping that and praying that it was what it, what it ought to be. So Correct. you, know, you and, really need to read it and then try to... Mm -hmm. Hope you remember what some of the old ones said, or you can re reference them. <coughs> well, uh, and in fairness, these were mailed out over ten days ago. So by the time that we have the hearing, you'll have had them for six weeks. And I know it's kind of boring. I, I do this for a living, and reading these is boring. But it, you should be able to get through sixty-five pages in in six weeks. It's not. It's not overly taxing and again all of section five deals with construction standards and a lot of it is reference to mass highway Constru section four is design standards that i worked on with the dpw director so this isn't just i didn't just sit down and say oh i'm going to make a bunch of fanciful fun mm -hmm. things for, for then people why are we why are we um, the only board that has to approve this. Because, because you are the planning board, they are your rules and regulations. Per state law, you are the only people who can approve your own regulations. As I asked you, I'm going uh, uh, yeah, to make a I'm day for a couple of to. hours. I'm going to come up here and go with them mm -hmm. step by step with you. I wouldn't mind doing that. Too. Yeah, well, why don't we go together? Do Not more than two of you, though. Yeah. Can we do it in a meeting? Yeah. The uh, now. It take, take a lot of time. I was gonna say here's here's my. If you would like well, to have a special meeting, to go over the rules and regs, we can do that. If you want to do it at a regular meeting, 
we can do that as well. What I don't want to do is put on the agenda to go over the rules and regs at a, at a meeting and come in and sit here and go through section by section by section. I'm happy to have a yeah, I don't want, I don't know. question and answer period. I'll read through them. What I was thinking more was I'll read through them, but mm -hmm. if you could just go through the you know the sections that have substantive changes, I think you know I, I've definitely seen in my short time that sure. there there is a you know a, there's a lot that which we can improve on. So mm -hmm. I'm sure it's a welcome change, but uh, just I'll read you know we can read through them and then right. I'm just bringing it up because I want everybody to yeah. know that you've got to have some way to see what was there before versus Brooks, what is there now. You have the old ones in front of you, one through whatever. And you have the new ones here, one through. But we, we talked about that. So you could go. It's not, just, they're not coral. It's I, not coral. It's not. No, but, the, but the sections are. Of course they are. But the sections aren't numbered the same, but there is an A&R section. There's a preliminary plan. There's That's a definitive right. plan. I mean, you can find, and, and there is a table of contents. I mean, you can go through the existing ones, find what you're looking for in the table of context, contents, and go back to it and do it that way it's a little bit I'm, more work if i'm sitting here with you i think you can reference what we want to compare if i have any questions i, I can a lot quicker probably. i can certainly try what's the date of the public hearing uh the first it will be the first meeting in april the ninth that sounds correct mm. it is yeah because today's the 12 30 days you all set okay minutes I make a motion we approve the minutes as written. February 26th. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 There's a vote. Any other correspondence, Adam? Nope. Any signatures? Nope. Anything else? I just love you guys. I know. We know that. Do you have a motion to adjourn? Make that motion, too. Yeah. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.